Hey, thank you for joining my live. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to let you know that today I'm putting out a meme music video, which I'm really excited about because you know I love a good meme. Memes are cool, memes are fun, so it's going to be really cool. Hey, Jamie, Davey, how are you? Hey, Kalanatzi, did I say that right? Hopefully I did. You look like... <laughs> You look like an astronaut in your glasses. Really? You think? An astronaut? I didn't think an astronaut. I was going for a superhero. A lot of people have been saying alien, which I don't know if that's a good thing, but you know what? I like my glasses, so I'm just going to go with it. Hey, Ariana underscore Roblox. Hey, thank you so much for joining. Hey, underscore Lola Saad. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great day. Are you going to vlog? Um, I don't vlog, but I am working on a special, on like a couple special video things that are going to come soon that have to do with the next song and really the story and making sure people get the breakup story. And it's going to be like an artistic expression and I'm really excited about it and I hope you like it. I miss you, Caroline. Oh my gosh, I missed you too. You're so sweet. You follow me. Yes, I do. I love following you. You have a great account. Favorite thing about Target? I'm more of a dollar store person, TBH, but the thing that I like about Target is that it's so big that you can get anything there. You can get your groceries there. You can get your clothes there. You can get your toys there. You can get your appliances there. You can get your medicine there. You can get other. You can get your music there. You can get anything there. Hey, TM Lyrics underscore. Hey, thank you so much for um, posting my songs on your YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, and I love your channel. It's awesome, TM Lyrics. It's a really cool channel. What advice do you have for your BFFs? Trust your instinct. I think that's such an important one because a lot of people like think things through, and thinking is good, but some people um, think too much and just don't go with their gut and take things too seriously and you just gotta do it and do what feels right and not overthink it and just do you know if that makes sense what on earth did you do to Caroline you superhero <laughs> that's hilarious I love it Jamie Dabby Davy hope I hope I'm saying your last name right if I'm not I'm sorry how do you get over discouragement that can be really hard I mean, sometimes you just have to, like, feel it, deal with the discouragement, and just keep moving forward. But it can be hard, and it can be dark. But no, it's only a momentary feeling, you know? Like, you get out of it, hopefully. Favorite lyrics you've ever written? I really like the 24-7 I'm Frustrated, because I just, like, like putting 24-7 in a song for some reason, which sounds really weird. But I do. I also really liked Gaslighting Got Me Under Your Spell. Um, I have a couple other so ones in new songs that I really like. And then in We Should Break Up, I really liked the um, When We're Alone, It's Like Our World Is Full of Stress. Because I feel like that's, for a relationship, that's such an interesting thing. when. Like, because when you're alone with the person you're with, or even not even like a romantic relationship, but just with a friend, when you're alone, that should be feel when you're safe and when you feel secure and not feeling stressed. Because it's like the outside world has so much stress, and when you're alone and at home, that's when there shouldn't be any stress. So I liked that one, too. Who inspires you and how? Madonna inspires me a lot because I appreciate how fearless she is and how herself she is and how she just does what she wants and it's so important to just do what you want and empower other people through that. Um, do you feel that the person who you wrote song, who you write songs about know they're about them? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. So, yeah.
Were you hurt by the people you wrote songs that you write songs about? Yeah, for sure. I think we all get hurt. We've all been hurt by people before. We've probably all hurt people as well. It just happens sometimes and it's sad, but I mean, writing songs for me is a great coping mechanism to get through it. It can be a little difficult putting it out because then you have to kind of live through the experience again, but it's worth it because it's beautiful to take your pain or real life experiences and turn it into art. That's a really cool and special thing. Have you ever sent a text to the wrong person? Yeah, it was really embarrassing. Um, I was like looking for a password to something and I was texting someone like, what's the password? What's the password? Why won't you tell me the password? It was the wrong person and they were like, I don't know what password you're talking about. And I was like, Ugh, that is so embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. Five days until Kenny's birthday. Oh my gosh, happy almost birthday, Kenny. That is so cool and so awesome. I hope you have a really, really cool birthday. You deserve it. Are you trying to heal are you trying to heal the relationship that you wrote these songs about? It's a daily process, you know, and it's an interesting thing and an interesting place to be in and I don't even know. It's um very strange position to be in, but you know, more a lot more of the story is coming soon. So I'll give you all the deets through songs, but it's just, it's confusing. It's like the song Simple. It's just, it's not simple. It's confusing and it's hard to know what the right thing to do is because people always talk about forgiveness, but also like you don't want to be in toxic relationships. And I believe in putting in like not being in toxic relationships, but I, sorry, somebody called me, <laughs> so sorry. Um, how do you forgive yourself? Oh, after hurting people? Um, I think like apologizing and knowing, like I'm very big on knowing that the past is the past and moving on because I think so many of us like just spend so much time thinking about the past and you can't change the past at all. So there's not really any point of like focusing on it, but just moving forward in a better way and learning from it, which sounds really cheesy. I feel like everything I say sounds so cheesy and I don't want to sound cheesy, but it's just true, you know? Most embarrassing thing that's happened to you. Fainting on my crush's lap, definitely. I can't even think about it. It was so embarrassing. But you know what? I try to not be embarrassed by things because I think there's something really special about like not caring and like not caring what other people think and just not caring and um, being almost unembarrassable and being so like, I'm not gonna be embarrassed by anything. It's almost like fainting on your crush's lap and being like, yeah, couldn't control it. Fainted on my crush's lap. Like there's something cool about owning embarrassing things that happen to you and make it not embarrassing. Hey, I did a face reveal and made my profile picture a picture of me. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. You look so pretty in your photo, by the way. I love it, and I love your new username. It's awesome. It was my B-Day day before. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love that. Tavels dot underscore demons. That's so cool. Absolutely agree. I don't get embarrassed. Easier offended very easily. That's awesome. That's like a really good way to live life. I definitely believe in that. Signature dance move. I always go like that. Or like that. Or I go like that a lot. It's like TikTok. Like I just do weird TikTok dance moves like all the time. And it's really embarrassing. And I'm like, what am I doing? But I feel like everybody does that now. <laughs> hey, I love you. I love you too. You're super sweet. Thank you for being so nice and thank you for being here. What's one thing you refuse to share? I mean, I try not to share too much about the people in my life because I feel like people are entitled to privacy and you don't want to exploit other people or talk about them because everybody's different, if that makes sense. 
Are you fearless? I don't think anybody is like 100% fearless, but I try to be as fearless as possible because it's so cool to just be brave and not let fears trap you because so many of us are trapped by our fears and like I really don't want to be and naturally I have so many fears but I just don't want to live in my fears and I want to get over that and not live and especially not living in the fear of the world and living fear of external things or what people think especially because being fearful is the worst so it's something that I work on every day if you can make a rule for a day and have everybody follow it what would it be um interesting question I would have every this is everybody be like really nice for a day like wouldn't that be nice if just every single person in the world was so nice and there was no war and just peace for a whole day that would be awesome. Like everybody, no matter what. Like everybody just respected each other's beliefs, everybody's differences. That would be a good rule. If you could create a holiday, <laughs> what would you create? I would do National Unicornosaurus Day. That'd be iconic. That'd be cool. Um, which one of your songs would you like to fall asleep to um well i have a ballad that i haven't put out yet um ooh, should i say the name of it Ooh, should i give you that i don't know if i should or not okay i shouldn't but it's a ballad that's gonna come out at some point and it's one of my favorite songs i've ever written and it's just so true to me kind of a song but at the same time it's also very comforting and just gives me a lot of peace and I like I love it so much like I cannot wait for you to hear it like I, I can't wait for you to hear it but that one I would really like to fall asleep to that one every night although I kind of fall asleep to music um this might sound weird but when I fall asleep every night I put on hypnosis tapes and fall asleep to hypnosis tapes and it actually really helps me and I've been doing it since I was in fourth grade because I always had issues going to sleep and then I just put on hypnosis tape so I hypnotize myself to sleep every night which sounds weird but it's really cool it's really fun I like it works for me now um is your name your real name yes my real name is Caroline it's not <laughs> a stage name although I really want to legally change my name and I don't want to tell you what I'm legally going to change my name to yet but I really want to legally change my name to something and I'm like really into it and I'm really excited about it and one day I'm going to it's gonna be really cool thank you for saying you love my hair L. Johnston 2006 that's so sweet of you thank you my, I did my hair kind of different this week which I didn't mean to but it just kind of happened because I'm trying I'm just so bad at doing my hair I'm trying to learn how to do it and how to handle it and like straighten it but still have wave in it and but then keep it natural and deal with my natural hair it's a whole thing i'll take you along the journey it'll be interesting winter or summer because of um you should break up i feel like i have to say winter because winter theme was really fun and also there's just something to me very comforting and like secure about winter winter makes me feel safe for some reason i don't know why do you want a boyfriend no, not right now. I'm really busy right now. And I just feel like that would really complicate my life in a lot of ways. And I just don't feel like for me right now, it would be very healthy to have a boyfriend in my life. So, no. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? Why are you exposing me like that? Oh my gosh. That is such a weird question. That's so random. How did somebody ask that? Oh my gosh. Yes, but I'm not going into details and please don't judge me. Because you can't control who you like. And the person was young. That's so embarrassing. Why did I just admit that? I'm live. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. Speaking Spanish. I can't really speak Spanish very well. Even though the street I live on is, a, is Spanish. Like, it's in Spanish. It's a Spanish word. 
Um, but yeah. What's your favorite song? My favorite song? Ooh, there's so many songs. I've been listening to a lot of songs lately. I'm trying to think of which one to say. I really like 11 Minutes right now. I'm really into that one. What about the sunglasses? The sunglasses are because I'm a superhero and we are in Simple Era, which is a superhero theme song, so I'm a pink superhero. I love it, it's so fun. Like, I'm gonna be so sad when Simple Era ends and the next song comes out because then I'm not gonna be able to wear my glasses and I'm really gonna miss it. And like, I love wearing this shirt with glasses. I just really feel like it goes together and it makes me really happy. So yeah. Um, I have to go, but thank you so much for watching this live. I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your day and then a great Friday and a great weekend and a great life. And stay healthy. Believe in yourself. You're awesome. Thank you for being here and thank you for being so kind. I really appreciate your support and I really appreciate you watching. It's really nice of you. Love you.